fans anticipation is growing as the Raiders fifth season here in Las Vegas is on the horizon. The Silver and Blacks preseason slate kicking off tomorrow. But the question all of Raider Nation is wondering, which quarterback will be under center in week one? Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew? We got three members of the black hole here joining me to discuss this battle. We got Cisco Kid, Johnny V, and Raider Reggie. So let's start with you, Cisco. Aiden or Minshew, why? Aiden. Aiden, uh, to me, has proven himself. He's accurate, and he can throw the long ball. That's Raider football. You got a journeyman quarterback versus a second year starter. Yeah. And we saw AOC do well last year, five and four record when he was thrown into action. Where do you stand on this? I like AOC. I think he's I think he's got potential, huge upside, but I think Minshew's our guy. He's wily. He knows how to extend plays. He's got some of that Raider attitude. I'm team Minshew. By the look of Minshew, he just looks like a Raider, right? Oh, he absolutely. Like Listen, absolutely. I need him next to a jukebox with a cigarette and a <laughs> bottle of Jack. Let's go! Uncle Rico in the building. <laughs> Raider Reggie, where do you stand on this quarterback hey. competition? AOC, I really appreciate what he has, and I got future sights on him, but I've always liked Minshew's character. He extend that play enough to make something happen, and when you have the offensive players that we have, that could be something miraculous. So. I'm team Minshew. My thing with Minshew is our last game in Oakland, he beat us. So we, <laughs> so that, that, that kind of hurts well, still a little bit. Is there a certain dynamic that you want to see that you did not see with former quarterbacks here in Las Vegas? I want to see passion. I want to see somebody say, yeah, we didn't win. And I'm mad. Throw a helmet, get mad, you know, get some fire. I mean, come on. These were the Raiders. We expect to win. He just said it, right? Win. And it's at all costs. Rapid fire record. You got 17 games. What are you going for the Raiders this year? 11 wins. 11 and 6 with Cisco. Johnny? 1972 Dolphins were coming after you. Unbeaten. Let's go. Raider Nation in the house. Stand up. 10 7. Also dominating on defense. The Raiders face the Vikings in Minnesota tomorrow at 1 o'clock with O'Connell and Minshew set to split snaps. From Allegiant Stadium, I'm Nick Walters. Well, the Raiders season is almost back and all the buzz at Raiders training camp has revolved around the quarterback competition. We got three members of the black hole here joining me to discuss this battle. We got Cisco Kid, Johnny V, and Raider Reggie. So let's start with you, Cisco. Aiden or Minshew, why? Aiden, Aiden uh, to me has proven himself. He's accurate and he can throw the long ball. That's Raider football. Now, Johnny, there's a lot of controversy behind this, and for good reason. Yes. You got a journeyman quarterback versus a second year starter. Yeah. And we saw AOC do well last year, five and four record when he was thrown into action. Where do you stand on this? Well, you know, I like AOC. I think he's I think he's got potential, huge upside, but I think Minshew's our guy. He's wily. He knows how to extend plays. You know, he's got that, he's got some of that Raider attitude, you know, when he was going up against Crosby and Crosby was giving him crap all game, you know, he was giving it right back. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Minshew, I'm, I'm team Minshew. And by the look of Minshew, he just looks like a Raider, right? Oh, he absolutely. Like Listen, absolutely. I need him next to a jukebox with a cigarette and a <laughs> bottle of Jack. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So Johnny V is Team Uncle Rico. That's uh, right. Yes. Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico. <laughs> yeah. Raider Reggie, where do you stand on this quarterback hey. competition? Uh, AOC, I really appreciate what he has, and I got future sights on him. But I've always liked Minshew's character and his wildness, right? He extend that play enough to make something happen. And when you have the offensive players that we have, that could be something miraculous, especially with our tight ends. Yes. So yes. I'm team Minshew, Uncle Rico. <laughs> but understand, I really do see the future being AOC. Yeah. 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 My thing with, with, with uh, Minshew is our last game in Oakland, he beat us. So, we, <laughs> so that, that, that kind of hurts well, still a little bit. Well, we beat ourselves. True. We, and the refs helped. 
<laughs> well, these three guys have watched the Raiders for years and years, and they were telling me before this interview that this is the first time that they can remember where there was a true quarterback controversy, right. and that usually maybe there would be a, con a quarterback controversy during the season once the starter started to play poorly. So having this dynamic going into the season for the first time in a long time for the Raiders, maybe ever, how do you think that changes the dynamic of this season? Continuity. I think just, just having these two battle it out shows a lot. I think the team itself respects that, and uh, I think that's going to go a long way. Yeah. You are Team Minshew, after all. We yeah. got to see him almost lead the Colts to a playoff right. appearance after yeah. Anthony Richardson yeah. went down. So since you, you've seen that, and in fact, you saw Minshew beat the Raiders mm -hmm. just late last that's season, right. how that's does right. seeing make you believe it in Minshew, even despite his size? Well, I, I trust in the coaching staff, right? And so, so if you if you have somebody earn the spot, then you have to believe that that they're there for a reason, right? So I think if you take into consideration his experience and his ability to extend the play with the offensive weapons that we have, come on, it's crystal clear, right? It's crystal clear. It's our year yeah. every year <laughs> until they prove that it's not. Right. Raider Nation, right. let's go. Let's Stand go. up. Stand up on it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I think it's fair to say that Gardner Minshew brings a certain pizzazz yeah. that Aiden O'Connell does not, no fault to his own. So, Reggie, do you think that Minshew is just a fit for the Raider way, just like Antonio Pierce is? When, when we got him, I wasn't expecting the Raiders to go that route. I was literally thinking Fields, you know, I was thinking, you know, younger, but already in the league. But when we got Minshew, I, I've always liked seeing him play because he, like we spoke of earlier, he extends plays and he's so raspy. It's like he's not that dude that's just going to be, you know, suit coat and all that. He looked like the dude that's going to grind. Yeah, he's not in the hotel room by 9 p.m. Yeah. He's down at the bar. He's, 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 he's vintage bar. Raiders 70s. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Well, staying on the topic of quarterbacks, and we'll start with you, Cisco. It's been a long time since the Raiders had a stable quarterback situation with a reliable starter for years on end. And do you, do you feel like you're losing patience with this Raiders situation and you really need this to work out or you might be calling for Dak next offseason? Uh, at t no, 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 definitely. No, we already got rid of one number four. We don't need another. Oh! <laughs> so cool. My car won't start. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so no, no, I think we're, I think we're good there. Um, you know, to be honest, I think, uh, you know, you just spoke on it. The last time we had a solid quarterback war number 12, yeah, Rich right. Cannon, True. and True. now my man, uh, Aiden's wearing number 12. Yeah. So let's get that recycled back in. I'm ready. For me, that's the thing too. Like when I put my mind on somebody that's stable and longevity, cause we don't know, you know, with somebody that's seasoned like Minshew, as far as all the teams he's been on and how long he's been in the league, we don't know what could happen, but that's kind of why I want him to be our starter from the jump. And if Aiden works his way in, when he comes in, he'll be in. Not, you know, he starts, messes up, get hurt, whatever, and then Minshew has to replace him. Right. I don't like that scenario. Right. And the fact that he switched to number 12, that, in my mind, it was like, okay, when he's ready, he's going to be ready. Well, we're about to get our first glimpse of the silver and black this season in preseason action. The pads are going to be back on. Let's we get to go. watch the team on TV again. And we still don't know, as of Tuesday this week, which quarterback will get the first snaps in Minnesota. Do you believe that AOC, in a way like AP has talked about, deserves the right to get those first snaps in the offseason? Or do you think Minshew might ha have the upper hand in that? I don't think anyone deserves anything. You earn it. Yeah. Right, that's the Raider way. Right. You earn it. You want to be in the playoffs, you earn it. Yeah. You want a championship, you earn it. So I can't say that, well, I've been here and I've done this. No, I, don't tell me what you did yesterday. Yeah. Show me what you're going to do today, yeah. okay? Yeah. That's how we extend. That's how we build greatness. And who gets the first snap and all of that? Who cares? Yeah. Don't even matter. It's what they do with those snaps. Sports. 
If, if you get the first snaps and you get off, it's like, okay, show me something. The next guy got to step up because now he's starting to separate himself, whoever that might be. I do know that saying, and I know it's in your head because I heard you talking about it earlier. If you got two quarterbacks, you really don't have a quarterback. Exactly. So the preseason might be where that, descent, where that separation happens. Yeah. So, some Raider fans are out there calling for a two quarterback system, but ah. you know, you never know what might, that might bring to an offense. That's for sure. But hey, it's going to be the fifth year that the Raiders have been the Las Vegas Raiders. Right. And if you look at the quarterback room since they moved here, it's been a revolving door. You had Derek Carr, Jimmy Garoppolo, Brian Hoyer even started a game. Oh, you had Aiden yeah. O'Connell and now maybe enter Gardner Minshew. So when you look back at those quarterbacks that were disappointments in their own ways, right, even though it, it might have not have been all their fault, right. what are you looking for in the 2024 QB1 for the Las Vegas Raiders? What are you hoping either Minshew or Aiden O'Connell will provide? Success, winning, winning changes everything. Yep. Is there a certain dynamic that you want to see that you did not see with former quarterbacks here in Las Vegas? I want to see passion. I want to see passion. I want to see somebody say, yeah, we didn't win. And I'm mad. Right, right. I don't want to say, oh, it's all on me. I take credit. Who's he Listen. talking about? Yeah. Listen, yeah, I, want to see, I want to see passion, you know? Throw, throw a helmet. Get mad. You know, get some fire. I mean, come on. Yeah. These, we're the Raiders. We expect to win. We expect to win. To Do not too. stand up there with mediocrity. He just said it, right? Win. And it's at all costs. When you put yourself in a position where it's not the coach calling the play, it's not this guy forgot his, what he's supposed to do in the play, but it was you making up your mind, oh, I, this happened, but I'm going to do this. Right. That's, what That's one want. thing I loved about Gannon, that you would see him constantly change the play. Right Audible, there. audible yeah. out. Yeah. And I, he'd leech up, whistle, do whatever he would do, but from the stands you would see him do this. And then you'd see the formation change. And have and confidence in it. Yeah. You know, knowing That's the players game. around him. Yeah. Yep. Being able to read a defense, being able to identify where a linebacker is or a defensive end rotates and be able to audible and change yeah. the play and, so and execute on that audible. Yep. Get that first down. I mean, it's that that's what we that's what we need in the quarterback. But what a pivotal offseason has been, just shifting gears and looking at the big picture. You said it best, just win, baby. I feel like this franchise is still trying to get back to that way and kind of find itself again. And now the man leading the charge is of the name of Antonio Pierce. And we've talked all offseason about this, and we're getting closer and closer to when foot meets ball in L.A. How are you feeling about this season, the direction of this franchise, now just one month out from game day? I said it when he got the job that it's all going to rely on who he surrounds himself with. And what I mean by that is his coaching staff. And mm -hmm. I think he's done a great job in doing that, along with our GM. Um, having Tom Coughlin as like an advisor, having our assistant head coach in, in Lewis. I mean, we're lucky to have that, to be honest. So not trying to be the smartest man in the room. Yeah. You know, trying to be the guy that could put all this knowledge, yeah. all of our knowledge together and put it in a place where it's going to move this team Let your coach's coach forward. and let me steer the boat. Well, he's, he's Raider Nation. All that's, day. that's something that we've never had before, yeah. you know? I mean, you have to go back to, to Al Davis, yeah, where you really say that you've got know. somebody that understands Raider Nation, that understands that passion that we have, right? He gets it. He's one of us. Yeah. And, he's in, and he's in the head coach position, so... Come on. It's time for teams to start fearing the silver and black again, us, right? Man, they have to go in there and go, this is a team we don't want to play. They're mean, they're nasty, and they're on a roll. Yeah. AP straight out of Compton. He has that yeah, mindset. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Well, we did have actually, and they let him go pre too uh, prematurely, I think, uh, because of the Gruden thing, but we had Jack Del Rio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was raided through and through Hayward, California. Yeah. True. Well, what the Raiders have lacked this offseason is respect from national media. They're oh, set right now at 6 and 11. Seems like that might not you ever come. Yeah. I, I gave that whole thing up years ago because it don't matter. Whatever the Raiders do, it's not going to get acknowledgement. If but if Super you Bowl, just win, yeah. who cares what get, they say? Get what the media says. Yeah. Like Al said himself, 
take what they give you. No. Take we what take we what we want. want. Whoa, that's right. That's take right. what we want. It's better so, to fear than respect. It. Exactly. Well, if you ask a Raider fan, at least an optimistic one, they would tell you, look, this defense could be a top five Ooh, unit in the league. Spearheaded by Max Crosby, now Christian Wilkins. Jack Jones is on the rise. You look at that offense. You bring in Brock Bowers. You got Devontae Adams. I mean, this receiving core is stacked. You lost Josh Jacobs, but Zamir White is very promising. Yeah, it feels like that quarterback position is the only thing holding yeah. back this team. So, so if going into this preseason, I know we're very optimistic about AP. Where are your expectations for this season? Playoffs. Playoffs. Yeah, playoffs. They ha and, I, and I'm not talking about uh, wild card. I, they need to define themselves to be a play. Uh, uh, right. I don't, I don't want you playoff. backing into the playoffs. They have to be decisively a playoff team because after that, then, you know, the expectations is going to go up. But if you backing into it, we don't even know who you are. You got lucky. You some another team lost. We don't need that. They need to take what they want, and they want to be in the playoffs. The Super, Bowl Super Bowl or bust. Super Bowl or bust. <laughs> Super Bowl or bust. I want a Super Bowl. The 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 the, the Knights got the championship. Yeah. The Aces got the championship. It's mm. our turn. Man. Right. It's that would be great, <laughs> but I'm not Super Bowl my or bust. <laughs> Let's and get you know, to the playoffs and first. When they, and when they win the Super Bowl, the national media will say, well, it was a fluke. Right. They gonna, that's uh, what I said. Uh, Mahomes was that'll, sick that'll, that day. Taylor Swift had the flu. It's you know, not going to matter up. if you yeah. win. No, but they, but if, if we win, they'll win. still say something, right? Uh, They're never going to give the Raiders credit. But that's okay. That's why we wear black. We're the bad guy. We're used to it. Yeah. We're used to it. It's fine. Real it's tough. tough. Starting to wrap this thing up because we got three very optimistic Raider fans in the yes, room, sir, as they go. should be with this. <laughs> we got four actually, one behind the camera right here with our photographer. Robert is joining in on the party of the Raiders making the playoffs this year. Black Hole Robert. Black Hole there Robert. There it is. Robert. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. So as far as in the stadium, we got a Legion Stadium right across the street from us. You guys know this fan base well. It's still growing here in Las Vegas, building its roots. So we know what you want to see on the field, the product with the Raiders. What are you hoping to see inside Allegiant Stadium with the silver and black? Black it out. Every Be loud time. on your feet like it was in Oakland. Every time. Wear black, black out that stadium, and cheer. Know when our offense is on the field. Yes. Sit your butt down, keep your mouth shut on offense. Period. It's like that's it's the simple math, man. That yeah. Your team got the ball and they need to hear. Yeah. Shut the hell up. Quiet on the set. Well, listen, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for, for the opposing fan base coming here to Vegas. And if you look at it through their lens, a lot of the cities don't have the magic that we have here in right. Vegas. Right. They don't have a, a plethora of hotels five-star restaurants, right? So, so if I'm a fan of a different team and I know that my team is playing in Vegas, where do you think I'm going, right? right? Okay. I'm circling that date on the calendar because that's my opportunity really to get on that, that, that national stage, yeah. right? Where Beyond I can go to a city and go, hey, I've got a choice of, of five different five-star hotels, 10 different five-star restaurants. I mean, why so, wouldn't you come here to see a game, right? Yeah. So I get it. And I get them being jealous of Raider Nation. And I understand it. You know what? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Because inside of every NFL fan, there's a member of Raider Nation. <laughs> That's right. Whether they like to admit it or not. They yeah. all want to wear black. That's why you have all these all different these teams, teams with, with secondary colors. And what are they? Yeah. Black. Because everybody wants to be a Raider. They don't want to admit it, but they do. But wait a minute. This is, this is a call to all the Raider Nation. If all these other fans from KC, from Frisco, from Washington, from wherever got that vibe about coming to Vegas, how can you not? L.A., Oakland, you need to come fill this house up with Raider Nation fans. Right, and, 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 there's, and there's an excuse. Well, it's too expensive. And you know what? This upcoming season, the Black Hole has some plans that's gonna solve that for you. So, oh, yeah. so pay attention, Raider Nation. Pay attention, we haven't forgotten. Yeah. We're gonna make it so that you can come to Vegas and have an affordable experience 
and be with the black hole yeah. and have a great time. Well, stay tuned for that news. We got Cisco Kid, Johnny V, and Raider Reggie. Cisco, he is Team AOC. And then going down the line, it's Minshew and Minshew. So last question, rapid fire record. You got 17 games. What are you going for the Raiders this year? Regular season record. 11 wins. 11 and 6 with Cisco. Johnny? 1972 Dolphins, we're coming after you. Unbeaten. Let's go. Raider Nation in the house. Stand up. Doing what Tom Brady and the Patriots never could do. A fully undefeated season onto the Super Bowl, right? That's right. right Reggie? 10-7. And also dominating on defense. That's right. So the defense might give us two more games. But be, be out there, Raider Nation. We coming for you. That's Let's right. go. That's Raiders. Right. And so will that quarterback position. So we'll have to see how it all pans out through the preseason. But, guys, thank you so much yes, and enjoy sir. the season. Let's Thank you. Let's go. Yeah. Raiders.